it's time to leave the Camondel Peak, the stone lot, and to continue with the hike to the highest point of Vitusha, the Black Peak or Chernivrev. As you've seen in the previous videos, the weather changed several times from the morning. I had clouds, wind, then I rain, a little sunshine, then clouds again, and before reaching Camondel, wind became so strong it blew loudly in the mic of the camera despite having a dead cat on it to be able to have a decent sound from the surrounding nature, so I thought I'd give you some cool info about it instead. Luckily, the wind cleared the sky as if it had never rained, so we're good to go. So, as you already know, this third part of the hike begins at Camondale, which is 1,862 meters above sea level. It's a small peak formed entirely of sharp stones, which makes it difficult to climb if you don't have good shoes and knees. But once you're up there, it offers a breathtaking panoramic view of Sofia you saw. From there, moving on towards the Black Peak, the trail is relatively easy and flat, meandering between herbs and low, thickest bushes all around. The area is home to a diverse range of vegetation thanks to the mountain's varied topography and climate. As you already saw, at lower altitudes you'll find lush forests of birch, oak, beech and pine trees. These forests are home to a wide variety of wildlife, including deer, wild boar, foxes and many birds. And some say there are even few birds, but look at me, I've never met any. As we climb higher, the forest gives way to rocky outcrops and meadows filled with wildflowers. In the summer, the meadows are a riot of color with bright yellow buttercups, purple thistles and red poppies dotting the landscape, although in late autumn, they are all gone. Climbing up, the vegetation becomes sparser with alpine grasses and shrubs taking over. These hardy plants are able to survive in the mountain's harsh conditions and they provide an important food source for the mountain's wildlife. One of the most interesting plants you'll find in the area is the edelweiss, which is a rare and protected species that grows in the rocky outcrops around the Black Peak. This beautiful white flower even has become a symbol of the mountain. Another interesting feature of the vegetation in the area is the turf or peat. The peat bogs are formed from the accumulation of dead plant material in wet, boggy environments. In Vitusha you can find peat bogs at higher elevations where the cool temperatures and frequent rainfall create perfect conditions for peat formation. I didn't know that peat bogs are incredibly important ecosystems as they provide habitat for a variety of plants and animals, including rare and endangered species. It turned out that they also play an important role in storing carbon and mitigating climate change. As I recently found it, peat bogs are some of the most effective carbon sinks on the planet. However, 
peat bogs are also under threat from human activities such as peat extraction and drainage. Fortunately, conservation initiatives and sustainable management practices are in place to protect vitreous peat bogs, as the entire mountain is declared a nature reserve, although there are dirt roads that can be driven up by vehicles that have the appropriate permit to charge the huts and other sites on the mountain. Finally, we arrived to the Black Peak, the highest peak of the mountain at 2,290 meters above the sea level. It's the fourth highest peak in Bulgaria, the first three being Musala in Rila Mountain, Vikhren in Pirin Mountain, and Botev Peak in the Balkan Mountain Range. Arriving at the Black Peak, you'll find the old weather station. There is also a small tea house where the tourists can warm up and rest for a little and the view from the peak is just stunning. I hope this virtual hike has inspired you to visit Vitus yourself and experience the magic of this incredible mountain. Thanks for watching.